in this video we are going to discussing about how to install kafka okay first we can see how to download then later install it and later we are going to start the kafka server in the last videos i just discussed about some of the use cases for the kafka fine but i will give you more clarity in some of the context see we are going to using some different domains using kafka fine uh, like manufacturing banks insurance telecom okay in these domains also we are going to using kafka see i will give you some of the example for you in dream 11 right you are going to playing cricket or watching cricket okay fine this dream 11 also we are going to using this kafka line right cisco netflix okay some of the places still we are using kafka okay fine right see how to download kafka we have to see now see observe you have to reach this path kafka.apache.org forward slash quick start find it right? just visit this one and if you see step 1 get kafka see you will see download link just click on it and it will take to download place that means it will show download link right we have other option also one is download kafka button if you click on this one it will show some of the download links right downloadable links it will show fine so my option this one click on this download link okay see if you observe this one we suggest the following site for you download right for your downloading purpose just click on this link right 3.4.0 forward slash kafka right actually it will show kafka 2.13-3.4.0 dot tgz right Ex with the extension of dot tgz okay fine just click on it but i will not click on this one because of i have already downloaded it right downloaded copy in my hard disk already available so i will not download this one right fine right just click on it and it will download into your hard disk okay fine so i have already downloaded this software right kafka 2.13-3.4.0 fine it's a tar file right so it is already in zip format just select it i need to extract to a specific folder so click on this zip extractor select this one extract and uh, i will go to windows c drive and just click on this select this windows uh c drive and click on this make new folder just name as kafka fine right just select this one which we just created folder kafka and click on okay and click on okay fine right now come back to c drive if you open kafka then we are going to see like kafka underscore 2.13 
iPhone 3.4.0. If you open these files available, right? So just select all, Control X. We already just created this folder, right? Kafka. So I don't need this path. Okay. Fine, right? So that's why I'm going to cut and paste these files, right? Just delete this one. If you see, this folder is empty. So we don't need this one. Select and delete. Fine, right? But how to start the Kafka server? In order to start the Kafka server, we need Jukeeper. First, we need to start Jukeeper. I will give you some of the commands for startup Jukeeper as well as server. Right? So, this is the command for you. Right? Uh, anyway, I will give you in the description. Fine, right? So, come back to C drive. Fine, right? Now you can observe C drive with the Kafka folder, right? Here you need to just type CMD, right? Just paste in this line, right? And after that one, hit enter. Fine, right? So like this, it will display. Remember one thing. Okay. If any option will pop up like uh, with the Java symbol, like private and public, select both as of now. Then only uh, server will be start. Okay. Otherwise, some of the times it will not take while running uh, this project. Okay. Fine, right? Now, Jukeeper server started. See? Jukeeper server. Fine, right? Started. If you observe, started. Fine, right? So, just minimize it. Now, we have to start Kafka server. Right? So, select this one. Just minimize it and come back to Kafka folder, right? Again, CMD. Without confusing, I just open twice this CMD command, okay? Just click on this one, right button, right? Okay, if you have set already shortcut, then you, you can click on like this, okay? Right button, fine. So just enter on your keyboard. That means hit enter on your keyboard. See, observe, find right. See, it is also started. Kafka server also started, right? fine so now what you have to do right if any prompts will appear like with the java symbol and kafka server it want to access like private or public recommended both you can select it and just uh, trust these one okay and after that one you can execute your project fine right as of now, you can do like that. See, in order to start the Kafka server, first we need to start Jukeeper. After that one, we need to start the Kafka server. Keep watching Java Concepts by J Tutorial YouTube channel. This is Jay signing off. Bye-bye.